Hello, Kelsey Taylor here. Welcome to my final video where I talk about my favorite Schoolhouse Rock songs. Now, this week I'm going to be talking about five of my favorite songs from the money category. Now, of course, this one doesn't sound kind of interesting. You know, it's just all about money and uh, all those investments and stuff. Um, I just picked out five songs I remember liking fine. And I won't be getting into these songs way too long. Um, I'm going to explain briefly why I like them and why I think they're very important. Like, in today's world where, you know, some people spend their money wisely, some people don't spend their money wisely, you get the idea. Alright, let's begin with the list. At number five is... And this is the rule when you're walking on Wall Street. Buy low, sell high, take a piece of the pie. That's the Wall Street way. This one's basically just talking about like Wall Street and investments and all that stuff. And I have to be honest, there's certain songs um, on there that as a kid I couldn't really understand. Like, you know, like as a kid, why would I give crap about money? Of course, you really need to live and spend well, right? Well, um, yeah, um, I like the song, you know, nice um, tune to it and the pigeon, of course, the way he's walking on the Wall Street sign. I don't know why, but it's at the bottom of the list. Like, I don't think... Um, like, yeah, it is an important song to learn about Wall Street, but, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay, I guess. Number four. The check's in the mail. The check is in the mail. And it ought to be there Wednesday without fail. When you need to send some money to for business folk do, just write a check and send it off in the mail. Of course, this one's talking about checks. You know, like, nowadays, most people would do it online instead of you know, writing checks on papers, but... Not everybody can do that. You know, we, we still use check papers and stuff. And, um, yeah, this one has a very catchy tune. Um, you know, if I would care if I ever lived on my own, then I have to go through this, of course. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a very, very, very fun song, catchy tune, and, um, and also interesting music video to go along with it. Number three. All good things take three back. We hear you call it uncle and we're paying our tax. This one's kind of funny. It's all about the taxes and, yeah, all, all the all the tax stuff. Like, like why tax is so important. And, um, of course, sometimes, um, you know, our taxes are used for more um, useful things like fixing up schools, fixing up roads, or sometimes over pointless stuff, which I don't need again to. So, yeah, sometimes our taxes, you know, are used well, some are wasted. And um, this music video from Schoolhouse Rock, Money Rock, is kind of funny. You know, with the show's men putting on a show talking about taxes. It's kind of corny when you look back on it now, but as a kid I thought it was kind of funny. So that's why this one's number three. If I still loved it, then it would have been number one. Number two. Now every Monday morning when I get my pay, I'm feeling very rich indeed. I got a pocket full of money I can spend each day so I can pay for all the stuff I need. This one's talking about the pros and cons of having allowance, like make sure you don't spend too much, make sure you don't you know, observe the prices, make sure you know you have enough to spend wisely and stuff. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably been through that, like if your parents give you a certain allowance a week and you like you need to spend wisely. Well, I don't like growing up I never really had an allowance. I guess my mom didn't have enough money or what. Well, now I have like I don't know. I'm not gonna get into the amount of money, but it's less than fifty dollars, I believe. Um, I just, like, spend every once in a while, mainly if I get a snack or a DVD, but, like, it just teaches you, like, how not to spend so much and what you can do to, um, you know, like, what the song shows, like, certain chores you can do for, to get paid when, you know, you're a kid and you don't have a job. And, um, yeah, that's, that's a very interesting, um, one to know about. Like, as a kid, I don't think I ever picked up on much of what it was about, but, um, yeah, like, like, you just have to spend wisely on the money. And, yeah, that's, that's what I got out of it. All right, my number one favorite song from Money Rock is... we got to feed the big guy, we really can't forget. It has an awesome appetite, Tyrannosaurus debt. Another song I never um, quite understood as a kid is I'm talking about the national debt, mainly here in the United States, how um, like it's still in the trillions and stuff, and how it became to be. And of course, you know, being in debt is never a good thing. We always have to pay it off. And who knows, like 100 years from now, will we be in the... I don't know where our debt be even more higher, like like cheese. But um, yeah, I kind of like the concept about the debt. Um, it's kind of like a T Rex. Um, and the more you feed it money, the more it grows and grows and grows. Like I like I don't know what I was thinking of that as a kid for different reasons. It's like, um, uh, maybe it was good to feed the debt to give it more money. I don't know. It's 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 kind it's kind of weird. 
And um, if you watch the music video at the end, like, be on the lookout for a small cameo from one of the popular characters from Schoolhouse Rock, mainly from American Rock. You'll see it for a second. I'm not going to say who, but it doesn't last for long. But um, if you see it, let me know who you thought it was. I, I'm not going to say. Just I want you guys to be surprised. But it's just, just so common. So, yeah, Trinosaurus Death, my favorite um, Money Rock song. Teaches you about the national debt and uh, the, the pros and cons with it and how it became what it became to be. And keep this country in prayer. There's so many things going on that, you know, that this country doesn't deserve to go through. But it's just the nature of things, I suppose. So, yeah, that's my top five favorite songs of Money Rock. Um, I just made this simple because I don't have that much to say on this, especially on the money subject, even though it's more important for everybody's lives. Um, and that concludes my videos talking about my top five favorite Schoolhouse Rock songs. Um, I hope you enjoy them. And, um... Next week, if I, if I could, it just depends on my schedule, I'll do a different top list on another subject. Um, I still have to think about it, but I have some ideas. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching, and be on the lookout for my Thanksgiving VMC tomorrow, as well as a movie review this Friday. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Adios!